What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. First off, if you guys never seen American Dad, freaking watch it. It is so funny. Uh, anyways, uh, I have waited a very, very long time for this statue I'm about to show you. Now, I post on my Facebook group, DBZ Resin Collectors, but I wanted to go over it with you guys on YouTube in case you're not part of the group or part of Facebook, which I could definitely understand. But there's definitely been certain characters I've waited a long time for. And when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, one for me is Tien Shinhan. So this guy is by Cloud Studios. They had teased they're making a Tien a while ago. And this is the deluxe version, which is actually a massive statue. This thing is like 32 inches tall, 27 inches wide, 25 inches deep. And then when you incorporate the fact you have this in front, you're gonna need to add another nine inches. So uh, unfortunately I can't get this one because of the size of it, but this is definitely the way to go. Like if you have unlimited space, this is the Tien to get. And this is the scene when he was basically doing his tri-beam uh, cannon to, you know, Imperfect Cell 2 to really buy time. You know, uh, they were waiting for Super Vegeta to show up and Tien needed to buy crucial timing. And so this was a very, you know, like pivotal moment. One of the moments Tien actually shined in the anime. I mean, he didn't like injure him or anything, but he really did buy a lot of time. And he almost killed himself doing it, really showing his character there. You know, he knew he was too weak, but at least he could buy time. So I personally really like Tien, you know, ever since Dragon Ball, when he fought Kid Goku and, you know, him in Saiyan Saga, you know, even losing his arm and everything. I still like Tien quite a bit. I think he's an awesome character. Yeah, so this is the size of this. They're making it in one six and one fourth. And honestly, we've never had a even a good, like, 1-6 TN. You know, he's definitely a character that's been lacking. And then this is the normal one. So he's basically just standing on the cloud because he was flying in this, you know, scene. So standing on the cloud, giving that sense of flying. I think the sculpt of TN is basically perfect. You know, Cloud Studios does a really good job of making it look anime accurate. And so I really like that. This one, you know, being 66 centimeters, it's, that's only like 25, 26 inches tall. Uh, it's quite wide uh, because of the cloud effect, but that won't be an issue for where I'm going to be displaying this. And this one still does come with that cell thing, so I think that's super, super cool. Now, on that cell aura, uh, let's see, I don't have the photo of it. Uh, this aura comes off, and there's just like a... Looks just like a sticker of basically cell inside, which is pretty cool. So here is kind of one Photoshop I did of Tien. Now it also does come with a little Shiaotsu, uh, although technically it's a separate statue. Uh, but there's the Chiaotsu. Uh He's basically flying, like pointing. I don't believe Chiaotsu was actually even in this scene. I think he was just in a distance, worried about Tien, like, hey, don't give your life up. You know, but there's a few different routes I can go with DBZ. As you know, my space is more limited now that I basically took away one garage shelf. So because of that, I had to cut down on, as you saw my recent sales, duplicates. You know, I sold Kid Buu, Frieza, Goku. We were able to keep my extra Vegeta, because, you know, Vegeta is my favorite character. We're going to do Ryu Buu there. Eventually, we'll just have one Trunks. Frieza is the one I'm still questioning. As you see, I put Sume there, although technically I can just throw Sume right here and have two Friezas and keep KD Frieza because KD Frieza is a perfect companion to KD Goku. You know, matching base, matching swap out torso. They just pair extremely well. Plus, I really do love the KD Frieza. I think it's an amazing statue. Uh, so this is one option where we basically go by Saga, you know, I mean, I know this is technically Cell Saga, but they were both insane. So this is like my Saiyan Saga, you know, Frieza, Android Cell, first part of Boo, like the Majin Saga, and then the Kid Boo Saga, you know, which is how I like to do DBZ. Uh, disregard that Vegeta bust on the right, that will be Kratos bust. Yeah, that is actually going to be more accurate. So let's say I don't keep... Uh, KD Frieza, but we do 
assume my freezer there, that does leave this as basically a big empty spot. So right now it's just sort of like the extra bus, but I can actually fit a quite a large statue, at least height wise. Width and depth is about 18 inches on each side. So it can be super elaborate base, but could definitely be tall, like Sume Broly big. But I've also thought this could be an option. If I wanted to do Sume Frieza here, and then just do the KD Goku next to it, which I still think they do pair quite well, because they both have like, you know, the Namek water and earth, and obviously, you know, a little bit different base, but they both have black under base. I still think they're going to pair great. But this would still pair, and then you basically do free, you know, Piccolo, Krillin, so like three of the main. And then next to it, you would do, this is all Cloud Studios, basically, but Cloud Studios Master Roshi, which is actually shipping soon. And then the TN, you can see there. And then I could do a Yamcha. Now, technically, Yamcha and Roshi, I believe, are the Dragon Ball versions but I still think this would work good, and this would basically be like I have, you know, the entire Z Warriors together, and I can definitely throw in like a, a Kid Gohan. You could do the Cloud Studios one, which is that one right there. There's also the Infinite Studio one. They're actually doing the entire Z Warrior line, which I think is really cool. But uh, I don't know, if you just buy like one of them, it doesn't work good. I think you, if you're going to go that route, you have to buy all of them. So yeah, so, you know, like this uh, one coming out soon, this is on Hexapus's website, uh, and he's one of the DBZ preferred sellers. So he has it here, this includes shipping actually, uh, 440, <clears throat> 449 shipped, uh, four stock left. And I believe it comes with swap outs for that base. So you can either do the aura or uh, like his staff or the staff is in the back. I don't, you know, but the price is pretty good for these cloud studios, you know, like 450, you know, the Roshi looks solid sculpt wise. There also is the a licensed Master Roshi doing Kamehameha. That one is quite big though, or this one's much more of a space saver. Still a cool pose, but yeah, I like this quite a bit. I think it looks great. You know, a lot of statues here on Hexapus's website. Uh, and then I noticed on FNC, they still have the Yamcha, and he is $309, uh, two stock left, 199 ES. And shipping is plus, but this one also does come with a poir, you know, which is really cool. Now, here's the thing about Yamcha. He's basically been a weakling the entire series. In Dragon Ball, he got immediately whooped by Goku. He got whooped in the tournaments. In DBZ, he was literally worthless. He is super mayabang, uh, which in Tagalog means, you know, in English means prideful. Super prideful immediately died against the Saber men. And then after that, you know, he is literally worthless every single time. He thought he could take on the androids, instantly was taken down, and then they have to go rescue him. So he's just a worthless character in the anime. You know, but he technically is still a Z warrior, you know, and I slightly liked him in Dragon Ball. I'm just like, should I really buy a Yamcha? I mean, I do think the statue is pretty cool. And this is like when he first appeared. You know, he was actually using a sword at the time. He was a desert bandit. Poir, don't care for him. So I'm just like, uh, do I really care to get a Yamcha statue? Do I even need that? I do like Master Roshi. Now, he did become irrelevant, you know, in DBZ. But in Dragon Ball, Roshi was the shit. He was awesome. You know, I really liked Roshi. So I'm even wondering if I should just consider just getting a Roshi statue. The thing is, I feel like if I did, I'd want to get Yamcha and just basically do that photo. Now, basically, all the Z-Warriors, if you think about it. Uh, so, yeah, there's definitely a lot to consider. I, You know, and I'd probably just do that Cloud Studios Gohan. I would ideally want it next to Piccolo, but I'd probably throw it just over here because I'd have more space. But, you know, this could definitely work uh, in terms of, like, Saiyan Saga to Frieza. It's just the matter of, is KD Frieza a superior statue to both Roshi and Yamcha? Possibly, yes. 
Possibly, yes. I do love that KD Frieza. You know, the main statue itself is definitely better than the Roshi, and the bus might be better than Yamcha. So, it might be better just to have two Friezas, because I like Frieza a lot more than both of those. Like, he's my favorite villain. Especially in Super, I love Frieza's personality. He's an amazing villain. Yeah, and disregard KD Kid Boo there. But... Yeah, I'm super happy overall with this Tian Shin Han. He's amazing. Now the question just begs, do we go for Roshi and Yamcha or have two Friezas? Now, because in this setup, if you think about it, we have a Goku there. Technically there, even though it's supposed to be like a ghost version, and there. So three Gokus. Vegeta, we have one, two, three. So three Vegetas. Technically two Boos, although it's the different version. And then every other character is kind of just like one. Although if we get a Kid Gohan, you'd have two Gohans. And then if we had two freezes, it'd be two freezes. So, you know, there's that to consider. But what do you guys think? Overall, though, I think this Tiana is amazing. I'm going to be getting it through Hexapus. You know, I've already had him lock in my order uh, for that one with Jiaotsu. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're looking to eventually pre-order Tien when it does go officially go up for PO, you know, you, you guys can use Hexapus. Uh, link in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.